Yo, what's going on, guys? It's me, Daily Tactics here, back with some more Men of War Assault Squad 2, the Star Wars Galaxy of War mod, and in honor of Order 66 occurring in the Clone Wars TV series, we are going to be doing an Order 66 battle ourselves here. So we are at the Coruscant Senator Chambers, and a Coruscant Senator has decided to go against Order 66 and rebel against the Republic uh, because he does not believe that the Jedi would do something so bad. So what he has done is he has gathered police forces as well as uh, Coruscant guards here, uh, you know, the Senator guard duders who are not clone troopers, um, and has stationed them all around his Senate chambers here in a defensive position to hold back against the oncoming 65th Coruscant guard airborne trooper legion who has landed. So we shall see if the senator manages to uh, win this battle for the republic, for democracy, uh, or if he will fall to the wayside and the emperor's plan will come to fruition. Um, either way, it should be a really fun battle. Uh, be sure to hit that like button. Let's try and get a thousand likes in the first 24 hours. Subscribe if you haven't already. Big giveaway at 200k. Uh, and uh, comment down below what you thought of the new Clone Wars episode. I'd love to hear what you guys thought about episode 11. And I will, I will tell you guys my opinion uh, in the video as well. But either way, guys, let's get right on into it here. Hey guys, what's going on? Daily Tactics here, and real quick before this video begins, I want to let you know about Instant Gaming. It's something I have talked about quite often on the channel. It's an awesome place to go and get really good deals on video games that you are interested in. Uh, they have tons of deals on Star Wars games, like up to 90% off. Men of War Assault Squad 2 is super cheap on here. XCOM 2 is super cheap on here. It's totally legit. I use it myself. Link will be in the description below if you want to go and just peruse, or if you see something you like feel free to use my link to get it for yourself um so yeah thank you so much to instant gaming for sponsoring this video and thank you to you guys for listening to this ad read and i hope you enjoy the remainder of the video okay gamers we're gonna go ahead and press start but in slow-mo because this is going to be chaotic at the start here and bada bing we got troopers firing at these oncoming clones almost immediately they are seriously firing away trying to kill some of these Coruscant guard troopers what I really wanted to do was I wanted to do Ahsoka and Captain Rex uh, or sorry Commander Rex uh, against the uh, clone troopers on that ship I wanted to do that battle and you know do sort of a Clone Wars recreated type of a thing but I realized all of the old Ahsoka models for Men of War Assault Squad 2 they no longer work uh, they are all broken mods so I need to wait for someone to make a new one or if someone can patch one of the old ones for me then I can do that uh, order 66 against Ahsoka and Commander Rex so I thought this would be a nice placeholder for that video you know whereas we can't have the uh, the thing we really want to do we can do this little little side mission first and and it'll still be nice very nice very cool very epic uh, I actually I loved the new Clone Wars episode um, I thought it was even better than the uh, the last one, the Siege of Mandalore. To be completely honest, uh, really sick. I love how Ahsoka like just loses Maul on <laughs> the Republic, and it's just like, just go what you do best. You know, just go go create some chaos. Just you do you, Maul. I, I thought that was pretty epic. Um, I also love how they didn't just have Captain Rex defy Order sixty six immediately. For some reason, that's kind of what I thought they were going to have him do. Just instantly be like, nah, fam, me and Ahsoka are buds. But I, I do like how they, um, you know, had him sort of struggle with, you know, this inhibitor chip and also his loyalties. Not to mention, I was sort of thinking this. They didn't really harp on it. But when he shot his own troopers in an attempt to save Ahsoka, I was like, dang. He, he literally just shot, like, it's like his brother's literally his brothers he shot his own family to save ahsoka so you know clearly his friendship with ahsoka is, is, is truly great i wish they had you know had a little knowing glance between them that that they had just killed his own brothers or something like that or maybe they'll mention it in the next episode or, or something along those lines and the next episode is the last episode which is so depressing this is so sad Oh, I mean, I thought we had the last episode a while ago, but then, you know, season 7 got saved, and now we're having another last episode. My heart can't take it, fellas. It's just getting to be too much. 
<laughs> it's getting to be too dang much. Um, but you know what? We are going to cherish every moment of the last episode as it comes out because... Oh, the Clone Wars are, are really something special. I thought what would be kind of a cool video to do would be to uh, get a bunch of Star Wars YouTubers to sort of comment on, you know, what they love about the Clone Wars and why they love watching it and things like that. And do like a compilation, like interview sort of documentary style video where we just talk about the Clone Wars and, you know, what it means to us and that kind of thing. It sounds a little sappy and lame, but like it has made so many people's YouTube careers and made so many people just happy watching it and things like that that like I feel like it could be such a cool thing to do I don't know that that's that's something I've been uh, to an idea I've been toying with a little bit um, it would be a lot of work and I'd have to reach out to a lot of youtubers probably I've never talked to and stuff like that which can be a little bit daunting uh, but it, it could certainly pay off and, and be pretty epic Either way, looking at the battle here, it seems like the 65th Airborne Troopers are slowly making progress through these uh, defenses, but it is painstaking, and they are taking some pretty significant losses in the progress of uh, making these forward movements. Uh, it is a seriously tough battle for the 65th course on guard right now, uh, but, you know, they're just pile driving through it, man. They are just absolutely getting through it. I like that they're spreading out a lot. You guys know that is a great strategy. Daily tactics approved, an approved daily tactic. Um, just spread your troopers out, you know, get as much fire out as you possibly can while also spread out enough to limit suppression, essentially, and uh, keep on firing while the enemy fires back at you from all different angles. That sort of a thing, so this is this is good looking. Good looks, boys, good looks. Let's go into normal speed here. I feel like we've spent enough time in slow-mo, and let's take some, some ganders over at some of these... Uh, Coruscant uh, Senate Guard duders over this way. So apparently these guys were just absolute booty in terms of actual warfare. I think there it was like a Geatsley video or maybe an Eckhart's Ladder video where they were explaining that like the Coruscant Guard are some of the worst troopers in the whole galaxy. Like they they're basically just like glorified guards who can't even fight really uh, and I feel like we kind of saw that in the Clone Wars remember that episode where Gree um, has to deal with that traitor um, who is trying to like save Newt Gunray or whatever that, that's essentially what's what's the deal here <laughs> like <laughs> these guys are just complete booty and uh, that that was like a special exception that one traitor because remember he had some skills but then all of his friends they all died almost instantly when he took them out when he absolutely KO'd them so I don't know it's it's no surprise to me that these Coruscant guard troopers are are plowing through the Senate guards <laughs> you know it's the gods versus the gods boys it really do be like that it really do be like that and we got to see some of the Coruscant guard troopers in the latest Clone Wars episode, we got to see the, um, their sort of shock troopers escorting Maul back to base, which is pretty sick. Also, when they were executing Maul, or trying to, wh why did they take him out of the box? <laughs> like, shouldn't they have some sort of a function where you can, like, cut off air supply in the box or something like that? Like, you'd think with the, with the Mandalorians being so ruthless and things like that, and, like, so war toward and, and you know having to keep prisoners in the past and things like that you'd think they'd develop a way where you could keep the sith entity in the box without having to open the box it's such a minute detail but like i was like really because i didn't think ahsoka was gonna save him i thought it was just straight up maul was about to ko all of these shock troopers on his own but wasn't the case. Not so. Not the case. <laughs> Either way, the Coruscant guards here are making some progress, but they're getting stalled out on these uh, sort of lines over here. They are managing to sort of fire over these walls, which is nice to see, but they don't really have a good bearing on like a frontal assault down the middle. They're going to have to, you know, recollect themselves a little bit here, I think, and underpify. Oh, we got a few just phasing through the walls. New clone trooper ability. I guess he's in touch with the force, bro. <laughs> He just straight up phased through that wall, buddy. That's weird. <laughs> that's a that's an oddity. That's a weird one right there. <laughs> oh, and by the way, guys, it's May the 4th Eve. Tomorrow is uh, May the 4th Be With You Day, which is super exciting. Um, I think that'll be uh, pretty sick uh, to do some videos on May the 4th Eve. I think I will do a... Um, 
well, I've, I'm gonna do my stop motion trailer video, you know, and that's gonna be really cool, um, because, you know, that, that's been, you know, hours of work, uh, put into this trailer that's gonna be probably a minute or two long, um, but then, on top of that, I think I'm gonna do maybe Empire at War, maybe, maybe we could even start XCOM Season 3, and that would be special, I don't know, what, what videos do you guys think I should make? for May the 4th. I could always do a Men of War video. I feel like that's a that's a hearty classic, you know? I But I do a lot of those, so I feel like it wouldn't be super special. I feel like Empire at War, you know, normally on Mondays I do Lego Star Wars 3, The Clone Wars, and Empire at War. Um, but uh, Empire at War doesn't feel special enough, you know? Episode 2 of our series, like, that's not really a special May the 4th kind of a thing. And then also, um... Uh, I, I feel like I, I can't do Lego Star Wars 3 The Clone Wars, the video game, because I'm dropping the stop motion. I don't want to take away the hype from that, so, uh, it'll, it'll be tricky. I don't know exactly what I want to do for May the 4th. Uh, I know I'm gonna do the stop motion, but I don't know about the second video. Maybe since it's, like, May the 4th and we're celebrating all of Star Wars, we could do, like, an all-Star Wars armies battle or something like that, or every named Star Wars character or something like that in a battle royale type of a thing. That way we can, like, you know, really maximize the different eras and things like that in Star Wars and get just a ton of characters in there or whatever. That could be kind of cool. That could be a, a fun, fun way to do May the 4th. I don't know. I'd love to hear your opinions because I haven't made, um, I'm working on the trailer, but I haven't made the, uh, the second video yet, so I'm open to suggestions. I, I would love to hear it. That'd be really, really cool. Um, and maybe we'll do a live stream where we play some, uh, some Star Wars Battlefront 2 on twitch.tv slash daily tactics because, you know, we're going all out for May the 4th day, boys. We're going all out. I might even put my merch on sale, too. Um, if Teespring lets me do that, because they have weird things about when you can put things on sale and not, they have restrictions, but like, I might have a code saved up where I can do 10% off or whatever, so, um, maybe I'll, maybe I'll put some money off for, uh, for the May the 4th day, that could be kind of fun too, you know, and just, just really ball out this, this Star Wars day, <laughs> it'll be epic, it'll be sick, I, I'm actually kind of looking forward to it, that'll be really fun, um, Obviously, this is not, like, a holiday for everyone, but only Star Wars fans, and that's kind of a fun thing, you know? Like, you know, yeah, maybe, like, a, a U.S. Senator tweets out, Haha, may the 4th be with you, or whatever, but it's like, nah, fam. This is, like, a, a legit holiday for Star Wars fans. <laughs> okay, for some reason, the clones are not attacking these turrets. I don't know what it is about the latest version of the uh, Star Wars Galaxy at War mod, but turrets rarely get targeted by infantry. Even when they're completely out in the open, the turrets almost never get targeted. What is up with that? It would be the simplest thing to just kapuya this bad Larry. But instead, they're letting this bad Larry kapuya them! Y'all are getting kapuya You should be doing the kapuya -ing. Come on, fellas. You're better than this. I know you are. <laughs> Oh, uh, but yeah, they are getting kind of shrekt right now. It is it is not looking too dandy swell for the airborne. They still have a lot of troopers, but right now they're just sort of stalling out right here and getting, like I said, kapuya. The kapuyoing is uh, is in progress, and it's not looking good. It is a spicy meatball, and there are still some uh, police forces around here behind these pillars as well. But they're they're slowly getting taken care of. Oh, there we go! Finally, someone got a grenade off. God, that took long enough. <laughs> There's one Twi'lek police forceman right here. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Clones, kill her. Murder! Do it now! Oh, she took a shot, and then the clones were like, Oh, there's a person here. Whoa! Mm, taking a sip of the bean juice. He's back on it? Are you kidding me? All right, they grenaded again. There you go, there you go, there you go. He's gotta be dead now, right? He's gotta be dead. I think he is dead, okay. <laughs> Alright, now the clones can start their final descent into chaos as they attack the uh, the senator's chambers. Um, senator has already taken a few losses in his inner, inner circle here, but uh, he's still got plenty of troopers and a tight little choke point right here. This thing is going to be brutal for the clone troopers to get through. Like, straight up, this is going to be rough, 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 rough. But you know what, if anyone can do it, it's the clone troopers. I gotta say, you know, I got mad respect for the clones and their fighting ability. I got absolute mad respect. 
Yeah. I wish there was a little bit more conflict towards the non, you know, Commander Rex clones in attacking the Jedi in um, the Clone Wars. Because I feel like the Clone Wars, Wars was always a, a space for us to explore, you know, the, the actual war in areas where the movies never touched upon, like the soldiers in it and their loyalties and, you know, how the Republic might not always be as good as people think it is and things like that. But... They really didn't touch too much on Order 66 as a thing beyond, you know, okay, we're all just going to follow orders except for Commander Rex. There goes the Senator! The Senator is down! There's one guard trooper left alive, and he is dead. The clone troopers have done it again, baby. They have done it again. Another successful Order 66 on the set of chambers. We can check out the losses here. This was a pretty epic battle. I really enjoyed this. All right, let's check the losses. Yellow are dead uh, defenders. Red are dead clone troopers. Um, you know, the defenders took a lot of losses, and I think probably part of that is because a lot of them were only equipped with, like, pistols and things like that because they are just a police force. That's probably what they had. Assault rifles was pretty... It doesn't make sense for them to all have assault rifles and things like that. But a lot of them did have assault rifles, to be fair. Um, and they still got thwacked. So I think the clones just did a nice job assaulting this. Um, it's also not like the most defendable area. I mean, this is pretty wide open. The only real choke point is the very end there. And the clones could still sort of shoot in from multiple angles. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's really not the best of a defensive position. It can be pretty tough, but, you know, it faltered pretty hard there and uh, crumbled down. Crumbled. There was crumbling. There was crumblage. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Be sure to comment down below what you thought of the Clone Wars episode. I'd love to hear it. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're going to be doing a big LEGO giveaway at 200k subs. So if you want to be involved, be sure to subscribe uh, and like the video. It means a lot to me. All right, guys, I hope you're all doing well with Corona and all those things and being quarantined. Um, and I, I hope these videos are, are helping alleviate some of the boredom, I suppose, um, and, uh, and our having some impact. I don't know if they are, but I hope they are. Um, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm wishing you guys all the best and I, I'll see you on May 4th and that'll be very exciting. All right, guys. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.